pizza rolls. P P pizza rolls. Ah ah P pizza rolls. Hello, people of the universe probably women of the universe since you're clicking on this tutorial video. Man buns are a new thing. I guess you could watch this if you want to learn how to do a messy bun. You have to have pretty long hair if you're a guy to do this. Long time no see. A bunch of stuff has actually been going on in my life so I haven't really been in the mood to make YouTube videos I guess. You should see my son. He's literally so big. He's asleep right now, but I'll for sure put him in the next video. This video is gonna be a little different. I'm going to make a video that's been requested for a long time. It is actually a tutorial. I've never done this tutorial before, so we will see how this ends up. Probably. No, I'm gonna be positive. This is gonna end up great, all right? So. I'm going to teach you how to do <laughs> A lot of people have ratchet messy buns, so yeah, this is why I'm making this tutorial to help you all to have better buns. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Honestly, it's probably easier to have medium length because my hair is getting like almost too long to do this and it just looks obnoxious. So, I don't even have a ponytail. I was so unprepared. My pizza goes. Damn. Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls. Have y'all seen that vine where it's like, she has like a chicken leg, she's like, I feel that way every time I eat food. The happiness, the joy, it's steaming. But I'm not about to scorch my tongue with those. Oh. I feel every time I freaking burn it. <laughs> all right, step one. Take all your obnoxious hair. Put it at the very top of your head because you're gonna make it loose and it's gonna fall kind of down. So kind of make it tight. So this is the tricky part. I don't really know how I'm gonna explain this. You're gonna wrap it around once and then twist it. So you have like a mini bun right there. And then you're gonna take all this hair. You're gonna twist it around like that. And you're gonna use this that's already twisted and put it around all of this whole thing. And then you see all this hair over here? You can fix this if you want, like to kind of put it, push it in the back, tighten it up. And then you're gonna put all the rest and you're just literally just gonna tuck it into the back of this ponytail. Just tuck all the rest. Y'all probably won't even have to do that because I have like literally eight foot long hair. But then, and then you really, honestly, the trick to messy buns is just tucking it in and making it look random. And then you're gonna grab the top and you're gonna make it, pull it loose around here. So it looks messy. So you have the perfect a sculpted messy bun. You go do it in the back. You pull your little, your little danglies down. You can have these little thingies if you want. You don't have to. You can tuck them in the back. But you spray some Febreze. Febreze. One Emma. Emma. Okay. So you take all those down, and then. You can loosen it however you prefer. I like it pretty loose. I just like it looking as messy and casual as possible, even though it took quite a bit to get there. And then, I usually do this to make it stay at the top because the rest is like loose. I don't want it falling down, you know? 
So I grab a bobby pin, I grab two usually, and I just put it in the back, straight into the messy bun. And then I take another one and I cross it the other way so it stays up. But yeah, and I don't know if I explained that horribly or if it was good. Let me know in the comments if you actually achieve this. I'm now sharing it with you all, so you're welcome. Oh god. I'm kidding, really, most of the time. I have a dry sense of humor. But anyways, yep. That is the Emma Messy bun. I'll see you next time on Mama Bear.